What's up guys? This is my attempt number three at this video. I just got a phone call on my cell phone, which I'm actually using as a recording device. But uh, what I wanted to tell you guys is that uh, I heard that you could actually get a 220 out of two separate 110 lines. Uh, and it was an experiment. Uh, nobody really says much how to do it online. So, you know, I was kind of screwing around. I figured, you know what, let's go to Home Depot, let's buy some parts and see what we could do. In my experiment, I was attempting to find how can I actually do that. So. From online, only information I got on this was that uh, it had to be two different, two separate lines, two separate breakers, and hopefully each one of those breakers were on a, the, a different hot line coming in your box. I guess there's four major lines coming into your uh, into a breaker box. I'm not an electrician, so obviously this is not advice on how to do it. I'm actually experimenting, and I'm hoping anybody that watches this give me some feedback. So. I can improve upon this or, you know, again, it's a nobody shows how to do this. This is out in everything I read, pretty much everyone said you shouldn't be doing it if you don't know how to do it. And uh, most people said you shouldn't be doing it anyway. But I heard it could be done and I've heard other guys being successful using this type of setup. So I got two separate cords here. Uh, I actually bought one of these uh, just little uh, outlet checkers. Obviously that's going to be very important, I figured, because we're trying to identify the hotline in this. So obviously if these were things were reversed and they were both reversed, well then just might screw with me. So let's start with a good foundation. <laughs> so I got a good cord here, everything checks out. Good cord here, everything checked out. And so I did know that these are both on different breakers, different spots, but it was driving me nuts because I kept testing this thing. And uh, yeah, I'd pop this in. I always, obviously I got 110 coming out of this thing. But I kept popping in and nothing was lighting up. I'm going, well, what the heck? Why is that not lighting up? I, they're on separate circuits, what the heck? So, I, you know, before I gave up, I actually ran to another spot in my shop, grabbed another cord, did the same test, of course. I made sure it was proper. All right, all my lights lighten up correctly, so it is correctly wired outlet. Hook that in, and hey, look at that! That sucker lit up. That tells me I got 220 on those on those two on those two uh, lines. Yeah, I was quite excited to, to see that. So of course, then this is going to light up only 110 just on the single outlet. So now that I identified these two, uh, I'll show you how I actually made this thing. These were a couple cannibalized. Uh, power cords I got from Home Depot. They were the ones that had uh, the three uh, three outlets on one little short cord. It was just an adapter cord. But I picked it up because it was a 10 gauge wire. Uh, super heavy duty 10 gauge wire. I figured it has the nice you know end on there. Why not? It cost me a total like 40 bucks to assemble it. But um, you can see I joined up both of the both of the grounds coming off of there. Obviously uh, if one ground is missing is uh, it would not check out to be correct when I go to when I go to use my tester. So again, I was trying to base this only off of good, uh, correct wired uh, outlets and prongs. But uh, I basically took the hotline off of each of those, just kind of killed these off, just because again, the neutral we don't want. We don't need those actually. So yeah, one, from, you know, one black from, you know, one hot from each side, mounted that in, get together. So then I identified two good power lines, I plugged this in. Now what I was afraid of is like, if I plug this in, is this end going to be hot? Because again, remember, I got all these connections in there. And uh, yeah, so when I was testing this, I actually hooked this up. Hey, no light. That thing is not hot. Again, do not do this, guys. But yeah, that's not hot. Will I touch that one at the same time? No. Again, I'm not familiar with this. This is basically just an experiment, and I don't feel like getting electrocuted today. So got that one plugged in. Got this one plugged I'm plugging this one in. And when I went to test it, bingo, lights up. We got 220 off this plug. I was quite tickled to find out, figure, find out this thing worked. Um, of course, I drew a little diagram so my guys, or if anybody else grabbed this thing, they could properly identify it. But yeah, this is just a very basic little box that I made. But all right, guys. This was my experiment. Please give me some feedback. Let me let me know if you guys have ever run into any issues with this. 
I attempted to use this once at one job site. I found that I was one line, I did have a 20 amp breaker on, the other one had 15 amp. I was blowing that with the 15 amp constantly. So yeah, pretty much it will not work on 15 amp if you are tr truly trying to pull off a, a to, to get 220 out of them. But guys, let me know if you guys have any comments or ideas. Thanks for watching. Oh, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up or uh, please subscribe. I mean, I'm always willing to do something kind of goofy and crazy.